Alright, this is my first look at SteamOS Beta. I installed it on my MacBook Pro because it has EFI firmware and NVIDIA card. Um, I did the expert installation, pretty much just went through all of the prompts. It was pretty simple. Um, right here I'm just running big picture steam and it's pretty fluid um, I have a PS3 controller plugged into it which works just perfect out of the box um, I have portal downloading I don't know how good this this Mac will be able to run it it's it's not that new but we'll try it um, anyway Let's take a look at what we got. It's pretty much just all your big picture stuff, but it's super fluid. It works great. I, um, if you hop into interface, I have enable access to the Linux desktop set where <coughs> I can go to the exit and return to desktop. And in the desktop, whew, that is one bright little screen right there. Um, we have just a basic GNOME 3 desktop. I enabled a root account, which is on the main page for the beta. It tells you how to do it. Um, yeah, it's, it's super basic. It just... No Firefox, ice, ice weasels, what you get. Um, only thing that's a little weird is the uh, the text scaling is like enormous. Um, let me try and let me pull this up. Um, like I guess it's it's huge because they want it to be on on TVs and living rooms, so you want to be able to see what you're looking at. Um, but I'm maybe I'm just not used to it. I use GNOME for everything and seen it huge. I'm like, what's wrong with this? Um, yeah, universal access. There you go. This is what it's set to default. I mean, it's enormous. It's huge, but you can see it. it it's not blurry. It, it's super crisp. Um, you know, small is is just way too tiny. But I just. Normal is still pretty huge, and then large is smaller than normal. I got it set to large. I'm keeping it large. Um, I suppose since this is just a Debian fork, I can install some PPAs to then install Firefox and Chromium and stuff. Um, but if I just try to install, you know, Firefox. I get, you know, unable to locate package Firefox. So, it's the peep, whatever, you know, dependencies that this shipped with. It doesn't have much. Um, so, let's check out what's what's on the system. Calculator. Oh, there's the add-remove software thing. What do we got in here? I don't know. It's not... Every possible thing is, is just checked. It, it it has everything, um, but you know we're here to play games. Let's let's play some games. So when you're in the desktop and you hit Steam, it throws you right back into big picture where you left off. Um, how's that portal download doing? Probably still a long way to go. Where are we here? 84%. Getting close. I'm going to pause the video and resume when we're ready to launch it. Hello! I have Portal running. I am dropping all the graphics as low as they can go. Um, because I don't want my laptop to explode. Um, yeah. Alright, so 
I load everything up. Let's hit OK. Let's apply this stuff and see how she runs. It's going slow as heck. All right. Okie dokie. Load again. Has my saves, sync them up. That's pretty handy. <clears throat> One thing is I don't have sound for some reason. Um, eh, it's a little jittery, but not bad. Arr. Yeah. Not very. It's playable, I guess. It's kind of... Kind of chugging. It's chugging. Um, but if this was on an actual desktop with real... You know, hardware, this would be great. Um, yeah. I'm happy with it. I'm playing this with a controller. It's just like butter. I will play this for a moment. Uh -huh. Yeah. You know, the Mac, I can hear the fan spinning up a little bit. It's not screaming too loud. Um, all right, so let's let's go back into the big picture. See if we if we can. I think I hit. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. So here I am. Here, this is really super laggy. I guess because they got the game running. Um, yeah. Looks pretty good. Let's quit. See if we can quit nice and clean, no trouble. Pull up here, right back to this. Um, yeah, it's super fluid. Browser's alright. It's, you know, I'm not really used to this yet. But you know, you could just jump into your mouse and keyboard, and you get. You can use it with the mouse or your controller. It's pretty much just everything you get in big picture, nothing extra. Um, once again, exit, return to desktop, we'll jump you into GNOME, provide your password, and there you go. Um, I'll have to play around and install some programs and see what else we got here. It seems like pretty just stock Debian stuff, but that's it. Thanks for checking it out.